Two large national dairy companies recently filed for bankruptcy after being in business for decades. Eyewitness News reporter Logan Westro visited a smaller local dairy farm to see how they're surviving in the declining industry. Hey, good evening, Nick and Candace. Today I stopped by the lands at Hillside Farms in Kingston Township to find out their plans to grow in the future. Two of the country's biggest dairy producers, Borden Dairy Company and Dean Foods, have filed for bankruptcy after several decades of providing milk products. These big companies have themselves in a situation where they need huge cash flow and they have lower sales and they have huge pensions to deal with and obligations and it's making them go under. But for Hillside Farms, they have continued to grow over the past several years. They plan to build an addition to the dairy store, incorporating a retail building and rearranging the store to provide more products other than milk for its customers. We're not only dependent on milk and ice cream, for example, or butter. And some of the additions that you see are retail spaces to help support us. I spoke to some frequent shoppers at Hillside as to why they think these larger businesses are closing down. Online shopping, because you could get your groceries online now. You don't have to come out here to buy your own things. And that's why I think a lot of small businesses that grow into bigger businesses are now dwindling. Hillside Farms mentioned that dairy consumption has been on the decline due to consumer habits over the past several years. But that hasn't stopped residents visiting Hillside Farms from returning time and again to get their products. Glad that Hillside keeps growing and it's a cooperative and I'm happy. Uh, in fact, I often admire the people that are participating with the, the cooperative and often think it'd be fun to do. Hillside Farms says after the construction of the retail addition, they don't see any more projects in the near future. Their goal is to provide for their customers and appreciate them for shopping locally. In the studio, Logan Westrope, Eyewitness.